Between school, friends, and social media, it can be a lot of pressure for a kid, but that pressure is also transferring to parents. And a recent survey found the majority of parents aren't sure how to talk to their kids about mental health. And for some children, these mental health conversations could be life-saving. I spoke with a local mom who knows this all too well. Maggie Simrell is a mother of two teenagers, including 13-year-old Aubrey. While Simrell says she suffered from depression and anxiety throughout her life, she was shocked to find her daughter in distress one morning before school. She was on her bedroom floor in a fetal position, and I immediately ran to her side, and she was just breaking down. I had asked her what was wrong, and she said that she just didn't feel like she wanted to be alive anymore. Simrel says she immediately sought help for her daughter. Eventually, Aubrey was admitted to a center for kids struggling with mental health. Four days later, she was released. Now Aubrey is doing much better mentally, but Simrel says the experience has changed the way she parents. We kind of have a trade. I will talk to you when I'm struggling, and I definitely want you to talk to me when you're struggling. And experts say conversations like these could save lives. One mental health expert says starting these conversations can be simple. If a parent notices something's different about their child, then a lot of times it's just simply pointing that out. Hey, I've, I've noticed that, um, you know, you're not sleeping as well because you're, you're a little more irritable in the morning. I'm just kind of concerned. Burton also says parents may also want to monitor their child's screen time. Teens don't like it, but for parents to monitor how much time they're spending on phones and other types of devices um, and to be aware of what they're what they're viewing. Simrel hopes her and her daughter's story will encourage other parents to begin an important conversation about mental health. We always say that we would die for our children, but we have to live for them too, and we have to be here for them. Burton also tells parents to find their own support group. This could be a way for you to become a mentor or find a mentor to help guide you through parenting challenges.